are we in the best era for cars right now? Yeah, so so and a I, lot of a lot of people kind of go ahead and say that '90s era is the best. Some people, I, I mean, agree. Some of the I'm old wondering. timers go back and say like the '50s and '60s, but for the most I part, mean, people say it's the '90s were the best decade of cars. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you think, Sammy? '50s and '60s was the best for American ingenuity. Oh, I mean, we were cranking out some amazing V8s and cars. I mean, the golden era of Corvettes, Chevy, and GM and Cadillac, like oh, was in sure. the '50s and the '60s. That's some of the most beautiful cars we've ever made. I agree. But yeah. when we talk about the golden era of cars, I mean, we're talking about like JDM culture. Um, we're talking about the '90s. We're talking about reliability, where automakers weren't worried about. They weren't thinking about planned obsolescence, right? We had reliable motors, reliable cars, and they prided themselves on that. Now, even the most reliable automakers like Toyota is like their business model revolves around planned obsolescence. Their parts department has become Are you a guys central really? cash cow. Are, absolutely. I, I, don't know, I don't know. I think, I, I, think, I think we're yeah. on the cusp of the best era. Yeah. I mean, if you, if I you, if you, I think the early 2000s, so if you look at the early 2000s, I mean, we had a lot of the cars. It was a big plunder. A lot of the the, the manufacturers, the quality, all, the all that stuff. 90s American kinda, cars, I think, were terrible. Yeah, 90s and 2000s. Have you seen but, the Dodge Neon? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> Come on now. if you look you at it now, on okay, the road think anymore. about your Dodge. Yeah. They just made yeah. a, they, they made the Hellcat, they, a 707 horsepower sedan. I'm Fan, telling you, you can man. even get a family version. And now they're stuffing that motor into every little car that they the have. T-Rex. They, Yo. They, they, think into about 2020, Jeep, though. Into a pickup cool. truck. Yeah. Um, I mean, now, I mean, the technology, the modern technology and the accident collision avoidance systems, the autonomous driving with Tesla, the electric cars with that instant throttle. I don't disagree with you there. Um, but if, if you think about even the American sports cars, the muscle cars, look at the Camaro, the well, way they're handling and they're The Camaro's they're actually the going out of production pretty soon, though. So that's something to consider. Can but, I, but I'm saying. Can, can I drop something a little controversial? Yeah. Let's, let's I think there's a revival in the automotive markets now like there's a revival and there's a hot demand for great COVID cars was lots of literally power the perfect like you know Absolutely. recipe for pulling people into you know not the, only that the automakers decided to delay some cars to make them even better like they started I mean, listening to the competition and they're like perfect yeah. time to delay stupid example but mercedes did it with the eqc for example we're oh, talking yeah. about electric cars they said oh we got all these automakers that are coming out with even longer range than ours like if we're going to wow people like we can wait on the EQC during COVID and we can make an even better performing car with longer battery life. Um, and they're perfecting it. So by the time the EQC drops in the it, United it States, it is out in Europe. It is our but Netherlands. My uncle is. has one. Oh, he so does. We were actually talking about it this morning. I was yeah. like, dude, I can't wait to see yeah. that car in the United States. And he was telling me to maybe look at a GLC, but yeah, go getting back on track no. with our subject. So I mean, I, I, what I was saying, though, to finish my point is that, yes, I see a revival, but the golden era, in my opinion, was JDM in the 90s cars and even the Germans. The Germans were coming out with beautiful cars in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, the I don't know what the designation is, but the like the 95 S class is like my ultimate car, man. The S600, the V12s, like That's a sweet bulletproof. Car. They're just incredible cars. I the, mean, the 8 Series the, BMW? That, yeah, yes. that was that was the Alpina was coming out with some incredible BMWs. The B10 is one of my favorite. Like you I mean, don't even, see even those Porsche cars there. anymore. I think that the 911. I had a poster of that 911 oh, yeah. as a yeah. child. A, a you know a Smurf blue 911. The uh, 993 or I don't know the designation. Yeah, but it was a it was a 90s 911. We're talking about the 993. They're, they're the ones that yeah. they use for RWB. Dude, so it's an RWB 9, yeah. 911. Got one right there. Like we have right here and um, signed Akira Nikai. No replica way. garage wow. for RWB. He that is a that. special that piece. That is cool. That little tiny box was a couple hundred bucks, and uh, that little tiny car was, I think, seventy dollars. That's a limited edition. If you like, threw that into of... GameStop stock, yeah. maybe like three days ago, a it's couple a... hundred could have turned into a couple million. Uh, hey, I, I got some money in stocks, man. Not <laughs> enough though. I'm trying to be on your level, but there we go. Um, but yeah, so I think the '90s era produced more beautiful cars that were more reliable. Yeah, I agree with you. The technology wasn't there, but just as a whole, they were but producing they, beautiful cars. But are they cars. really more reliable? Because now every car goes over 200,000 miles. I mean, the 90s Time cars out. were very reliable, less technology, so there's cool. less issues and less things to break down. Yeah. But now when we're thinking about electric cars and reliability, what is there really? They're just a motor and a battery. Well, yeah. Hold on. Um, we're, the, and and so, so, I mean, if you give me a chance here. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm cutting you off. That's, that's the point. Uh, if you give me a chance that's, here, that's not only <laughs> we made the Corvette, rear the rear uh mid-engine um car. uh the mustangs with carbon wheels so the technology even in the vehicles themselves um yeah. 
if you think about you know what's what's happening with some of the some of these sports cars of today's era are faster than some of the supercars. But do and they have I don't the same I don't disagree spirit, with you. you know, there. Do they have that like but, that charm, that charisma? And I do. I and disagree. I, and I do, yeah, I don't think they do. Yeah, yeah but like, I. Why not? Well, What's the I challenger mean, spec? They're, they're crazy. Like the Hellcats are what? Six, seven hundred horsepower? About 700 horsepower. Okay. Now, now they, Is that a good looking car though? Does it compare to the, the vintage, the 60s uh, challenger? Like, does it compare to that first gen challenger? I think you, yeah. the first gen is way more to, beautiful. If you, if you compare it to your 90s challenger. It's, Did we have a 90s challenger? Or I mean, a we charger? Didn't have that. Really. No. Way. No. No, if you compare it to a 90s GM car, absolutely. Yeah. GM was creating garbage in the 90s and You they guys know remember that. like uh, like Lamborghini, right? But, like the Countach, the Diablo. Uh, when you dude, when you heard about the, those cars, even the Viper, man. I mean, the, the that, first gen Viper. That no, but car? It, gorgeous car. Hold on. Hold, hold on. I know you guys are talking about 90s cars and how, yeah. you know, they're great. But a lot of that has to do with the modifications you guys are able to do on '90s no, cars. Not even. Now, I mean, now, 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 talking about those modifications, a lot of those modifications and things like that came in later on. They they weren't there at, at that time. I mean, the thousand horsepower two JZs weren't you know weren't there right in the beginning. They well, came in after a couple of years. Though, and if you I think mean, about some of those like the movies, like the Fast and Furious movies that really yeah. exploded. I agree. Tuner now, culture and, didn't and, hit till like now, the early 2000s. Yeah. And now we have all these because cars with the wide body kits, your Absolutely. BRZs, your yeah. Rocket Bunny kits. You have, you know, the Porsches. All the stuff is happening today. The aftermarket is amazing. The parts that you could have put on these cars, whether they're 90s cars or current cars, yeah. the the drifting community, the tracking community, these things have gotten so much better. And so, in yeah, I would argue that time. the beautification of modern cars is inspired by 90s designs. But at the same time, if you think about it, maybe cars need more modifications now to have the same character that they had back in the day. I you mean, see, when you drove a Countach, I, I mean, you you will actually that car controlled you. Now it, you now you drive a modern Lamborghini. I mean, you have so many yep. nannies to hold you back. I mean, we got my buddy Edwin. He's a big time car enthusiast. Had a couple of cool builds. Builds. We're gonna bring him on the show here in a few weeks. Yeah. That's one of the things that we would always talk about, like the allure of the '90s sports car. Yeah. That it was. It was, he his quotes was it was trying to kill you. He's well, like exactly. the car was yeah. literally trying to kill you. There was no driver assist, driver's aids, like. There wasn't the same type of traction control technology that we have ABS today. What? Like, yeah, there's no ABS exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so no, it was and, and it was I a agree. raw and I, it's a it very was, raw experience, yeah, which is very yeah, fun. Yeah, and it's funny because I'm the guy who likes the most raw. I think out of the three, <laughs> but uh, do you really? <laughs> but but the, only likes the raw. Or what? But but uh, the thing is, yeah. with, with I, I think this new era with all the technology, <laughs> the electric cars, uh, we have. We have pickup trucks that you could buy that you could yeah. jump at 100 miles in the desert. Yeah, I mean, true. the Jeep Rubicons have um, automatic uh, sway bar disconnects. So just that technology along with the performance is set to another bar. But you know what? I, I think, hey, you know what? It's the best time. Toyota just brought back their Supra. Yeah. I mean, um, everybody's bringing back cars. The Bronco. Ford manager. just came back Ford's out with the Bronco. Out with the Bronco again. Um, so there's a the lot Defender, of cool Land Rover brought out the, you the know, new Defender. A, yeah, an homage but, to the vintage one. I mean, with consider a modern, this. And, and I think, I, in my opinion, I think the cars are, all the cars are very beautiful. Like, when, when we're talking about the 2000s, I think the majority of the cars didn't look that great. 2000s I mean, weren't. Yeah. I mean, the golden true. era. I mean, when I was, when I, the Mercy. When I was in high school oh, and stuff like that, that nothing. I mean, there wasn't too many cars that had the look to match the performance, you know.